Welcome back everyone. Today we're diving into a topic that's as fascinating as it is controversial ancient flying machines and their connection to modern aerospace technology. You know, it's incredible to think that the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, was launched in 1957, right? But before that, rockets were primarily used for warfare. I mean, the first rocket capable of reaching space was the German A4-V2 rocket family, launched way back in 1942. Wow, that's, um, really interesting. So, like, are you saying that there were, um, flying machines in ancient India? Exactly. There are claims that technologically advanced aircraft and spacecraft existed in the Indian subcontinent thousands of years ago. Some sources even suggest that modern space propulsion techniques might have been inspired by these ancient flying machines. It's like, imagine if the Wright brothers had access to ancient Indian texts. Oh, that's, um, mind-blowing. So, like, what's the story behind these ancient flying machines? Well, according to the Ramayana, the demon king Ravana of Lanka had a flying palace called the Pushpak Vimana, which was shaped like a giant peacock. Can you picture that? A massive peacock soaring through the skies. It raises some really intriguing questions about the intersection of fiction and fact. Right, so, um, do we have any actual evidence of these flying machines? That's the tricky part. Some assert that ancient scriptures describe these aeronauts, but the earliest records of such documents only date back to the last century. The Vaimanika Shastra, for instance, is a 20th century text written by Shubhraya Shastri between 1918 and 1923. He claimed to have obtained this knowledge through psychic channeling from the ancient sage Bharadwaja. Psychic channeling? That's, um, wild. So, like, he was just sitting there, and boom! Ancient knowledge? Exactly. Shastri spent years in isolation due to leprosy, and after his experience, he dictated his findings over five years. The text was discovered in 1952 and translated into English in 1973. It claims that ancient Vimanas were feasible flying machines, possibly similar to rockets, using rotating gyroscopes powered by electricity and mercury. Mercury? Like, the element? That's, um, super toxic, right? Yes! It's fascinating and a bit alarming. The Vaimanika Shastra is considered a small part of larger lost works, aiming to provide pilots with secrets for evading and destroying enemy planes while remaining invisible. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie. Whoa! So, um, did any modern scientists take this seriously? Great question! American author David Hatcher Childress notes that another ancient Indian text, the Samarangana Sutradhara, also mentions Vimanas powered by mercury. And interestingly, NASA has been experimenting with ion propulsion since the 1950s. In this system, gas is ionized and expelled to create thrust. Ion propulsion? That sounds, mmm, super advanced. It is! In the 1970s, mercury and cesium were used as propellants, but both proved too toxic and dangerous, leading scientists to switch to xenon gas. The Dawn spacecraft, launched in 2007, utilized ion propulsion to travel to the asteroid belt. Some speculate that NASA's work may have been inspired by the legends of ancient mercury vortex engines. So like, are we saying that ancient scholars might have understood something about flying machines that we're just now figuring out? That's the crux of it. While claims suggest that ancient scholars understood flying machines using mercury, the Vaimanika Shastra was decoded less than 100 years ago and doesn't provide a clear explanation of aeronautics. The story of the flying peacock is captivating, but the development of mercury vortex engines remains a distant goal. Wow, that's, um, really cool. I mean, it's like we're just scratching the surface of what ancient civilizations might have known. Absolutely. If you enjoyed this discussion, please share and subscribe to the Logical Hindu YouTube channel. There's so much more to explore. Goodbye for now.